If you love the rustic barnwood look on furniture, you've got to see this desk makeover I just did for my son's room. Let's do this. I have this desk here and I find it uh, fairly uninspiring. It's not quite my thing. So I decided I'm going to completely flip it and change it into something different. Install wood on the drawer fronts, uh, make the case of it a cool metallic, change out the legs and give it a totally different look. So that's what we're going to do today. This desk is laminate, so I do need to give it a really good sanding scratch it up really well before the paint will stick to it. So I am going to do that first in the prep, sand it really good, clean it, and then we will dig into our cool metallic paint. Alright, the color I'm using today is Dixie Belle's Moonshine Metallics in Steel Magnolia. This is a gorgeous color. It's a champagne, so it's a cross between the kind of gold and silver, and I'm really excited to use it. You can see it's definitely thinner than the chalk paint, and it's going to go on that way as well, meaning your first coat is going to be quite streaky. We're applying it the same way that we would paint. The streaks are completely normal, and this is going to take two to three coats to give you a full coverage of the metallic look. So I'm just going to keep my brush strokes as even as possible so that we can just kind of fill them in as we go here and as we build up our coats. have done was to do the base coat of this desk with some paint that was kind of similar to the color of metallic paint I was using. I was kind of curious to see how well this would cover without doing any paint underneath and it did take three full coats. Okay I'm gonna dress up the drawers to this desk and give it a little rustic flair had enough of the wood wall left over the wood planks to cut them to size for this, these drawers and they are going to really take it up a notch. So we're going to do peel off the backs and stick them in place. Now this stuff is really, really sticky so I think we're going to have no problem at all with the sticking. If any of these lift, I can always use my nail gun and put a nail through it couple of these edges were a little bit rough, so I did grab some 80 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to take down the edges. Just a little bit to be sure no one gets any splinters. Okay, to replace these legs, I unscrewed and took off the old legs. I just um, took the screws out and then pried them off. Then I got these adapters that just screw right onto the bottom of a piece of furniture. You may need to use a piece of wood to bring them up to the level that they need to be at, but all they do is screw in in the four corners and you have 
a place for the new legs to screw into. I did paint the legs to match the rest of the desk, so it was super easy to change out these legs. Just be sure to remember that the height does matter. So these uh, turned out to be a little bit shorter, making the desk overall a bit shorter, which was fine in this case, but be aware of that. I told you this desk would turn out awesome. If you love that rustic barn wood look on furniture, this is the easiest way to do it. You just cannot beat these wood planks that we used on his desk. I love how the metallic and the wood contrast with each other, and he loves how his desk looks in his new room. So I hope you enjoyed this makeover, and I hope too it helps you think outside the box a little bit in creating a new piece of furniture from something that you may already have, um, something that's a bit out of date or that you just wanna make it look completely different like we did to this desk. So if you want to see how I put these barn wood strips on the wall, be sure to check out our last video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time.